He had led a relatively quiet life and was largely out of the general public's eye, even though he is a politician who at one time was a federal lawmaker and ran for Delta State gubernatorial position. His seeming anonymity evaporated after he married Regina Daniels, a young Nollywood actress believed by many to be in her late teens. Today, he is a regular feature in gossip rags as blogs and media outlets try to figure out what makes him tick. Hello guys, and welcome to another exciting installment of our Top 10 Celebrity Facts series, brought to you by Cydemex Entertainment. Today we'll be talking about the Honorable Prince Ned Munir Nwoko, simply called Ned Nwoko. He is a Nigerian lawyer, businessman, philanthropist, politician, and many say a billionaire. While most people only got to know him after his marriage to Regina Daniels, there are many interesting facets to the lawyer who has been thrown into the limelight for his life choices. But before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as we drop another exciting video. Now, let's dive in. Number 10. Honorable Prince Ned Munir Nwoko is an actual prince born into the royal palace of Idumuje Uwoko in Anyoncha, North LGA, Delta State, who was born on the 21st of December 1960, the same year Nigeria got her independence from the British government. Number 9. Ned Uwoko is a Muslim. The lawyer is one of few Deltans that practices the Islamic faith. According to Nuoko during an interview published in October 2019 by Premium Times, he converted to Islam while studying in England but maintains that he is not religious. He says, I'm not religious but I believe in values and ethos and that is what should guide everyone's conscience. Number 8. Did you know that Prince Ned Nwoko was an English prosecutor? That is a fact. On completion of his basic education in Nigeria, Prince Ned Nwoko proceeded to England for his post-secondary education. First, he studied law and history at the University of Kiel in Staffordshire for his first degree before proceeding to King's College London, where he attained an LLM in Maritime and Commercial Law. He was subsequently called to the English Bar at Lincoln's Inn. Thereafter, he joined the Crown Prosecution Service as a prosecutor and later qualified as a solicitor of the Supreme Court of England and Wales. Number 7. Between 1999 and 2003, the Prince served as a federal lawmaker in the House of Representatives, where he represented the Anyosha Oshimili Federal Constituency. During this period, Honorable Ned Nwoko contested for the position of the Deputy Speaker, losing narrowly to Chibudom Nuuchi. His party then was the All Nigerian People's Party, ANPP. Number 6. Ned Nwoko is a polygamist with several wives. The lawyer has at various times shared the photos of some of his wives and several children on social media. However, the jury is out on how many wives he has, which he has not publicly addressed. Rumor has it that he has five or six wives and no one seems to be sure. However, Ned Nwoko and his family are notorious for keeping aspects of their lives away from prying eyes, and this is one such matter that they, so far, have chosen not to address. Number 5. Speaking of Ned Nwoko's wives, the prince is the husband of a former child actress, Regina Daniels. Their marriage caused quite a stir on social media, mostly because of the big age gap between the two. For some reason, most people believe Regina to be in her late teens, but evidence suggests that the actress will clock in at 22 on her next birthday in October. A few months after their marriage, the couple granted a rare interview to controversial OAP Daddy Freeze in October 2019, where they maintained that theirs was a love marriage. According to the couple, their decision to get hitched was made less than three weeks after they met. Ned Nwoko also stated in the same interview that contrary to rumors, they were not introduced to each other by Regina Daniels' mother, Rita. Number 4. Ned Nwoko contested for the gubernatorial position for Delta State in 2003. Following his stint as a federal lawmaker where he enjoyed some popularity among his peers and constituents, Ned Nwoko contested for the governorship for Delta State. He decamped from his party, ANPP, to become the flag bearer for the All Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA. The election was won by the People's Democratic Party's nominee, Mr. James Ibori. For our viewers who may be interested, Ned Nwoko's current political party is the People's Democratic Party, PDP. 
Also, he contested for the party's ticket for Delta North Senatorial District during the 2019 PDP primary election in Delta State. The election was mired in controversy and it took a Supreme Court ruling to eventually identify Peter Nwabushi as the winner of the election. Number three. Nenuoko, through his Nenuoko Foundation, is a consummate but silent philanthropist. The Foundation's area of focus are culture and tourism, sports, education and health. The Foundation has carried out numerous projects in the areas of youth empowerment, education funds, talent hunt and more. Visit the Foundation website at www.nenuokofoundation.org to learn more about their work. Number 2. Nenuoko is an author. This is a fact that most people don't know regarding the former federal lawmaker and lawyer. He has to his credit several published articles as well as two non-fictional books. His first book, You, The Police and the Criminal Law Procedure in England and Wales was published in 1993. While his second book, Nigeria, Time for All Hands to Be on the Deck, was published in 1995 by Linus International UK. Number 1. Prince Neduoko is a strong advocate for the eradication of malaria. This is one of the most important works carried out by the Neduoko Foundation, as malaria kills a child in Africa every 30 seconds, according to UNICEF. Neduoko's foundation is committed to the eradication of the disease from Africa. Some of the objectives of the foundation are to strengthen collaboration for malaria elimination in Africa, as well as to accelerate sub-regional approaches that will allow all countries in the continent to achieve their malaria elimination goals, thus paving the way towards a malaria-free Africa. Very lofty objectives indeed. And here's a bonus fact. Did you know that NED is actually a shortened form of Chinedu? Yes, that is correct. So Ned Nwoko's full name is actually Chinedu Muni Nwoko. And with that, we've come to the end of this edition of Top 10 Celebrity Facts Series. Are there some quick facts you feel like we missed? Please let us know in the comment section below and check out this other recent clip from Cydamex Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.